Welcome to Backyard Planking. My name is Charles, and before we get too much further away, I want to uh, finish my promise I made to old Jim because I sure do want that bowl of chili. Got a uh, shoot and see target that's set up right there. Behind it, we have our 24 gauge sheet metal because we're going to finish with the, the impact test. We're still using the Ruger Impact 22. Yeah, I took the scope off. We're going to do this bare naked. Just so you, some of you might know, some of them, eh, maybe not. There's a difference. Naked means you ain't got no clothes on, or in this case, no scope. Naked means you ain't got no clothes on, you up to something. We're just doing this bare naked. So, let's get this part out of the way first. Got up early this morning to get set up. Look at there. Sun ain't even thought about coming up. All right. Ooh. Well, problem is I can't. Well, you guys can see the second camera. I can't. I don't know if I hit the sheet metal or not, but you know I hit the shoot and see. for a blind man well, let me get this ridiculous thing out of the way call Jim tell him I want my bowl of chili next week we'll start back the way we do, were before with the 5.4 grains first work our way up to the uh, to the heavy stuff give me a second let me get this thing out of the way so I can see all right yeah, I moved the camera over. Don't want to accidentally hit something. I like that little tripod. My better half bought that for me over a year ago to start this project. That was it. Not bad for a blind feller. Now, that shot right there, and of course you could see it on the other camera, the impact. We're almost at a at a true 30 yard. Now, somebody asked me, well, how do you know how far that is? Well, it's a half a roll of duct tape long. Now, obviously, the target has to be off of the fence a little bit. And then back here, too, because I've got to get enough room. So even still, 26, about 26, which is not bad. That shot was this 14.3 I used something that was a little heavier so I'd have a little more control over it so the next one that we're going to do to get back on track are the 5.4 grain alloys cute little shiny fellers Oh, and for some of you that want some bling, yeah, you can get them in gold. Just thought I'd mention that. All righty. Let's see, that pulled a little right, so. Still pulling a little right. I don't know why this thing wants to do that. Next up. Is the. 
I think these are the 6.8. These are the little armor, the little ones that got the BBs in the end. Armor, Gamo calls them. <laughs> A little more weight to it, it started pulling back left. Next. The 9.6 grain, and these are also ones that had the little BBs in the end, but they're not a true 100% alloy. They're more lead than anything else, but they're real lightweight. Trying to get them as close together as I can. We still got, well, no, we only got two left. That's right, because I did the 14 first, didn't I? Sure, I'm glad you guys were here. I'd have messed up. All right, so we did the 14.3 uh, hollow points from uh, Crossman. These are the 15.4, the red fire, the ones that had the little um, nylon points. Problem is, I can't really see what's going on. I mean, you guys can. I'll just have to be surprised. Ooh, much heavier. See how far it dropped? Which means that our last contestant, which are the 16.7 grain. These are the ones that have the uh, sharp point. They're all lead, but they have the the entire skirt is that plastic piece over the end of it. It's just supposed to help seal. All the pressure goes to this instead of escaping around it. means it's not going to be symmetrical you can see how the heavy weight really just kind of try to put it right between the one at the far bottom and the one just above it on the right hand side. We'll see how far up I have to hold. Hmm. Not as far as I thought. Actually, I overcompensated a little bit, and part of it could have to do with the fact that this thing doesn't have an open skirt on it. All right, it, it fits pretty good inside the barrel. More of the pressure is behind it. Very cool. Well, you guys have already seen the results. I'm gonna have to take a hike, go find out. Look at these, we'll go back. I'll compare some of the stuff. You guys have seen the videos. If you think one is a clear cut over the others, put it in the comments. Let me know. I'm going to take a look. I'll make my decision. We'll compare notes. See where we go from there. Next up is going to be the accuracy. It's going to be tough. You saw the one with the scope. Yeah, but me and optics don't get along. Anyway, until next time, my name is Charles, it's me in the backyard, Plinky.